The most asked question is where should I farm to get experience and where do I get energy to be able to do that and where should I go, when should I go farm my gold? I'm gonna give you a really quick rundown on everything you should pay attention to every day to do that and then I'm gonna go into detail on this brand new account that I started. Always pay attention to your energy. Make sure every single day when you wake up in the morning, you come get this 50 energy. Every four hours you can get 50 more. Plus you have your 100 energy a day to get for free, which I've already gotten. And it doesn't have a red dot to tell you that it's there. So every day get your energy. Look in the shop. Come and buy this experience pot for your heroes and this experience pot for your gods. Make sure you check your expedition. Every six hours you can come over here and get a whole bunch of gold, hero fragments, experience pots and a lot of other good stuff. It's all for free. Make sure you're in a clan and then come over here and get this daily clan attendance reward. It doesn't look like a lot, but it adds up. Plus this ore are very important to get. So you'll get a little extra energy there to spend. Okay, now that you have that energy, now that you have those rank up materials like your experience pots, when you're going through campaign, this is really easy. You did the re-roll, so you're getting a legendary hero based off my re-roll guide. You've got like 30 something summons to do and re-rolling is so easy to do in this game. So you start out with a legendary. It doesn't matter who you level up. You can level up anybody. I put a lot of resources into one hero. I put Poseidon on them and I just run through this easily. Then once we get to 110, we get another guaranteed legendary. We get all these rewards on the bottom. I still need to come back here in three star. Then we come over to hard and we beat this hard and the second hard and you're going to unlock all this stuff that you see here. You've got your challenges, your maze where you're going to spend most of your time in the maze of gold to get gold because we can do anything. We can level up our heroes. We have the availability to do so much, but to do it, we need gold. So we're going to be here a lot. We've got some gods to fight. And then once I do a few more battles, I'm going to be able to do the tower. Do the tower. The tower is easy and it's going to give you a lot of fragments to be able to make some new heroes. Come over to Hero Fusion when you have some heroes. Convert all those heroes all the way up and make them into rares and then make them into epics if you want to. And they're going to give you heroes that you don't have. If these two epics, I didn't have them already, those would actually be really epics, real epic heroes that I'd be playing on my account. So the fusion is really nice. Now you don't always want to fuse because you are going to want multiple copies of your heroes later on, but it's really nice to do if you're missing out on some like choice healers or choice DPS, or you just want to see what you're going to get. And eventually you can fuse and get a whole lot of legendaries, which I got a video coming out tonight on, I don't know how many legendaries I fused for. Maybe it was like 10. I took all my guys from common to uncommon and I made them all the way up. And then we made a whole bunch of legendaries on stream today. You got to stay on top of your gear. This is a gear farming game. So make sure you come in here and level up your gear. Put it on your strongest person. The biggest advice I can give you on who to focus on in the beginning is a good tank and a good DPS. You can always have those two leveled up the highest and then you can have your support a little bit lower than them. Like not have to focus on the gear as much and the levels as much for those, but you need a tank. You need somebody that can take damage in the front and then you do need a decent DPS or a tank that can DPS like this guy and put them in the front. A lot of tanks can do really good damage. They can stay alive. They can mitigate a lot of damage. And then your DPS doesn't have to be a strong trailing behind them as far as upgrading them and putting the best gear on them. As you can see, this guy has the best gear. He's got epic gear on him. We took it to plus five. I'll get it to seven if I can. And then we'll get the gear as we go through and do this for all the epic gear, legendary gear, stay on top of that one. That one's like super important to stay on top of to do that. And then we're going to go over and farm gold. We are going to stay here in this maze of gold forever, but be careful leveling up here. Be careful like pushing in here because you do not get your stamina back. If you use stamina to do a run, you're stuck with it. You can't even close your device and try to get that stamina back. It will put you back in the run you were in. If you can't beat this boss, you're not going to get anywhere near 10,000. If you can almost beat it, you'll get close to 10,000. Say you only take half of its life. You're going to get like 5,000, 3,000. It's not worth it to push unless you know you're strong. And this is from experience. I've pushed quite a lot. When I should have just gone back down to like stage three here, got nine instead of nine. I mean, it's not even that much of a difference. And if you do poorly on one of this thing, it, you would have been better off just going, you know, two floors lower, 10 auto runs consecutive auto runs right here. Like I could do 42 right now and just do that. 
get that gold because once you have all this gold which i'm still in maze of gold all the time on my main account i live in maze of gold because you honestly can't do anything without gold you need that gold and you do want to go into campaign because campaign with your team is where you level up and get experience you get experience potions in here you get fragments from heroes and then you get all these goodies and you'll come in here and this is where you're going to level up your heroes to get them experience it doesn't matter what stage you do it takes two energy to run normal three energy for hard four for very hard and five for hell but the experience you get per hero when you go through that run is the same per energy it's right there at the same it just matters on the drops you're getting right the drops are going to be different so of course do the highest you can do but it really doesn't matter if you're on normal hard or very hard for that energy cost as far as the experience your whole entire group's going to get so just have your group run through there over and over and over wherever you're at if you need experience if you don't need experience and you need gold, then go back to the gold mine. That's what I did. I flip-flopped from the gold place to getting experience from my heroes. And then if I finally had time where I knew I could make them stronger or was missing some kind of gear that I wanted or I wanted to go get some, not really gear. I wasn't, I wasn't trying to make gear in the beginning at all because we were getting so much through pushing through campaign and then doing that one journey quest where they give you gear. What I did seem to need was maybe rank up material. And I think they give us a lot of that too. You know, they, they provide us with so much in the beginning, but if you do need something and you want to go do some of the other mazes to get it, then yeah, you can take some time out and do that. But I just basically bounce back and forth between the two. Stay on top of your heroes. Make sure that their training is done here. This is awesome for them. The gear is done. Level them up. Stay on top of your gods. That's important, man. I just really, I go ham on Poseidon. Poseidon is so strong with this ability because it gives us massive shields and does so much damage to the board based off of the attack of the hero that it's gone and the HP of the hero that he's on. And he gives us accuracy, which is extremely important. Accuracy in this game, make sure you can hit an enemy. Just do damage to an enemy. Otherwise, they'll dodge. Extremely important because you're going to be pushing content. You're going to be trying to do higher levels than probably you normally could. And the only way you're going to be able to do that is if you have decent accuracy on your DPS to make sure that they land their hits. Otherwise, the enemy's just going to dodge, dodge, dodge. You'll never do damage on them, and this is so great. So if you want to level this up, you can level this accuracy up. It might... No, it's on level 1 right now. On my main account, it's probably leveled up, but here's level 1. Really strong. So just put this on your strongest person, the one doing the most damage, and probably if you have the best gear on them, you've got them the highest level, they probably also have the highest HP. So you'll get massive shields and you'll kind of clear the board with this for quite a while. For me, it was extremely strong. It's even extremely strong right now. I do know some people that have leveled her up for massive heals and you can do that too. Actually, you can play them both and kind of cycle back and forth between the two for your healing and for your shields. But in the beginning, these are the two I focus on. Whoever my strongest person is, I do Poseidon and I just let Poseidon ride and rock it. If you guys have anything that I missed, let me know. I'm not sure what else I could really cover as a beginner guide. That's pretty much everything you need to stay on top of. Your gods, your heroes, your gear, your traits. You're going to unlock some other stuff later on, like your masteries, your Pandora box, God's grace, which we'll talk about in future videos. But I don't think it's anything we really need to focus on right now to make your account stronger. Your expedition, your energy, your campaign to level up your heroes, and then focus on or at least be aware of these daily quests. Get these done because once we do these daily quests, advanced quests and weekly missions, we get rewards. So we want to stay on top of that. And then for your arena, arena is kind of like you either can beat it or you can't beat it. So just come in here and, and do consecutive battles. That's it. Just hit consecutive battles and let it fly. If you want to wait till you're stronger till the end of the day, I would do that. Wait till you get a little stronger at the end of the day. Keep coming in here and do these consecutive battles because there are a lot of good rewards. We're at the mercy of all the gold we need and the experience we need to level up these heroes. It's going to take quite a long time. Plus, we need multiple heroes for a lot of different modes. We need 15 heroes to fight the dragon. We need 10 heroes to fight the gods. We're going to need a whole lot of heroes over here to fight each of these different towers. Because it can only be done with all orcs, all beasts, all undead. And to be able to do that, I'm going to need a lot of heroes leveled and I need a crazy amount of experience potions, even for a guy like this, this high. He needs an unreal amount. 
And I think the company's aware of this. I think they're going to do something to get us some more experience pots. I'll let you know if that comes up. I'll, I'll let you know if me trying to relay that to them <laughs> gets us anywhere. Maybe there's an experience dungeon they could bring out or do more events to give us some experience. That would be nice because I really feel like experience is bad. Like really, really bad. We need some more or we need a whole bunch more energy so we can go through campaign more to get experience for our heroes. But if I missed anything, let us know down below. Tell us what your journey is, your beginning process, what you're doing to use your energy and where you're getting all your gold and leveling up your heroes and all that down below. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Appreciate your time. I will see you all in a video soon.